green room. Um. He sees you. He hears you. He has seen and heard your sins. Lord Jesus, your endless, shameless sins. Are you there, God? That's all Why don't you answer me? Coming back. Why don't you he give is me here? Yeah, even today. Don't don't to me somewhere. Welcome to the visual audio commentary for Jesus Christ Vampire Endure. That's my wife. <laughs> She's Hi, Cheryl. Up. Covering your face. Oh. Is that yeah. your car? My wife, I remember my wife said to me, my wife said to me that I, sh I shouldn't film her face. She didn't want to be in the movie for some reason. Um, thank you, thank you, John. So welcome to... Uh, there he is. Whoa. I've, I've been, I've been is he still acting? He doesn't have the beard anymore. Is he still acting? Yep. Yes. Oh, good for him. Wow. <laughs> So welcome to the visual audio commentary for Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Today is June 6th. On June 10th, which is Thursday of this week, we'll mark the 20th anniversary of Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. And we're here to record a visual audio commentary. I'm joined with uh, many of the cast and crew of Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Let's start in the back. Shelley, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Shelley Peterson, and I was in the film, The Lady in the Water. Uh, I was also an extra in the uh, Dominion scenes. And uh, I helped out in behind the scenes too. Yeah, it was fun. Thetis? Oh, hi, I'm Thetis. And uh, I am, uh, I guess, lesbian beach vampire number three in this movie <laughs> and uh, uh thank you for putting yeah it that <laughs> lots of fun to film brought my son along for for some of it oh that's right he was there for the entire yeah, weekend for the camping mm -hmm. part yeah I, that's what we got along really well we still talk about oh yeah and interest. he still talks about being there wow. <laughs> yeah awesome i forgot i totally forgot that yeah Petra? And uh, my name is uh, Peter Maurer. I did photos. I did this opening credit sequence. That was the first opening cre sequence for any movie that I ever did. Oh, wow. Wow. I good think. for you, Peter. Uh, so that was kind of fun. Tracy! We just, I digitized these photos and did some fun with it, and then we just filmed it on film. You, you know what? where the, all these panels are now? So every actor in the movie got their own. I, what you printed and we f photographed, I gave Johnny Vegas his card and everyone their card with a strip of 60 millimeter film to go along with it. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. I, I still have Maria Moulton's card at home. I guess she moved to the prairies before I had a chance to give it to her. So Maria, if you ever want your card, I have it in my basement 20 <laughs> years later. And to my left, to screen right, is? Is Phil. Um, I was the main dancer <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> You Phil, looked great in that dress. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's right. Welcome. Phil I always wanted to wear one and dance on, <laughs> on film. Phil Krakus is Jesus Christ, who in in this film, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Did you play? And you play Harry Knuckles in this movie. You have one. There's one shot what? of Harry Knuckles in this movie. Wait, what? At, oh. at the Dominion, you see Harry Knuckles. Harry oh, that's Knuckles right. yeah. catches a glass. <laughs> right. Okay. And, oh, I, so I forgot about that. that. This scene, I was always like, why are you <laughs> shooting at night? And I was, you know, it was very confused why the rest of the film is, you know, why. Vampires can walk in the daylight. Can you tell us why vampires can walk in the daylight? Well, this, 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 this is the first scene we shot in the movie. I remember we, we got back from Slam Dance with Harry Knuckles and the Treasure of the Aztec Mummy and started filming this within two weeks. And this is the only nighttime scene in the whole movie. I was really excited to convince two women to kiss on camera. <laughs> Oh, maybe not in this scene. But anyway, uh, Jess Franco did a number of lesbian vampire movies that I was really excited to try to emulate in Canada. But uh, yeah, so the idea of why do... <laughs> see, it's commonplace to see vampires live at night, but why do, work, they, why do they live in the daylight is what makes this movie absolutely bonkers because the, skin, the lesbian skin transplant, transplant allows them to, to, to live that way. It, it was a crazy idea. I think Mark Sharon came up with that idea in my editing room when I lived on Columbus and I was cutting Harry Knuckles together. He came up with that crazy idea. And the, the, remember the, the thunder and lightning there? I've yeah. sold that footage to another movie made in Montreal. Oh, that really? That was really cool. I thought that was on top of your roof. I, it is. That you filmed it. I was yeah. in the, on my balcony. I was, we had a top floor balcony. Phil was over. It, well, was, it was on the roof of the building. Yeah. I went on the roof. 
at my Bolex 60 millimeter Bolex camera, and the lightning was striking around the church steeple. It's not a special effect; it's no. it's real. It's like oh. we waited all evening for the right moment to uh, to get a shot of that, and <laughs> it worked out just perfectly. Yeah. But the rest of it was on the old parking lot, anyway, eh? at Rideau yeah. Center. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. I, there's a story you That's told right. me. The reason why the vampires can walk in daylight is a technical thing because you didn't want to shoot oh, all the film at night right. because that would be so expensive and so You're difficult right. to bring in all the lights all the time. So <laughs> you wrote true. it in, That's they can true. walk in daylight. You may, thank you. You're, you're right. <laughs> I wanted to shoot most of the movie outdoors during the daylight because we were shooting on 16 millimeter and I didn't want to fuck around with lights. <laughs> 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 so we shot on this speed of 16 millimeter film. I just closed the <laughs> aperture for the entire movie and barely could see anything through the Glenn. viewfinder. There's Glenn. And there's, there was a swarm of wasps this day bugging our actors, bugging Tim DeVries, because Josh Grace put spirit gum on his face to make, oh. make him look older. And if you look carefully, and we're watching an HD scan of the print, you can maybe notice some wasps flying around his face. Not his face, but his face. <laughs> his face looks wet. It does, <laughs> He's yeah. sweating, yeah. running across the street. It was a hot day, that one, I remember. I was going to say, it looks like it's a hot day like today. Yeah, that day was particularly hot, I remember. And the church was closed. We showed up, and they had boarded up the front of the church, but it's also very, it's a metaphor for the way people believe in Christ in uh, 2001 when this film was released. Now, Shelly, your scene's coming up, and uh, what's really exciting... Oh, there you can see the bees, the wasp there. Oh, yeah. It's flying around. Oh, There's my no God, yeah. <laughs> you probably can't notice that on the VHS transfer. Okay. Mm. Tell us about the helmet. <laughs> Josh Grace actually made that helmet using p piano wire. He cut that hole, and I still have the helmet at home. But this <laughs> is one of the everyone's favorite shots in the movie. But I got to say, Shelly, your shot's coming up, and... Your shot probably is the most important shot in the movie, specifically because it's the first time you see Phil as Jesus. Right. Phil looks most like Jesus in that shot than he does in the rest of the movie because he gets a haircut and he gets a shave and he starts wearing other people's clothes. Where, mm -hmm. There well, not Jesus clothes. <laughs> yeah. So there's Shelly. Yeah. And this, this shot, okay, the wide shot, up, this shot. And then, uh-oh. This shot I is probably... I forgot to leave her, so well, I'll push comes, her in. Comes. Wait for it. <laughs> what happened? Don't oh, look <laughs> It's also the first laugh in the and movie. And I had half a Lake Ontario up my nose. <laughs> you look yeah. dazed there. <laughs> That's uh, this Dandere. was a great camping trip at the uh, uh, Sandbanks. Yeah, Sandbanks. Yeah, yeah, so much fun. fun. It looks like the end of the world. Now, what's his name? Alex? Alex. Yeah, yeah. Alex Godet. Oh, yeah. He's drinking Alex. beer there. Now, what was actually in that uh, bo water bottle? It was, it was like everyone's leftover beer. No, it was <laughs> that before. is revolting. <laughs> But, oh, there's someone surfing. There's oh, people. those kids are so those are cute. Real people. Yeah, you can tell this is an independent movie when you don't have money to block <laughs> off the beach. It's supposed to look like the end of the world. But yeah. didn't those kids help with the sandcastle? Oh, yeah, as a matter they? of fact. Ah, yeah, I think really. so. Ah, it's true. You were right about remembering everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was only 22 years ago like when we an shot elephant, it. Oh like an gosh. elephant, Phil. Yeah. There you are, Thetis. There they are. Yeah. And the teeth. <laughs> Those are the teeth. Thetis and Odell is, teeth. was that Odell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yay. That's not the first time she kicked <laughs> from the boss. Holy moly. <laughs> that was a hard kick. <laughs> 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 Laughing vampires. That's a great suit. Whose suit is that? Is that yours? Oh, it was mine. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had to drag you. Yeah. I, I love that outfit. We had to outfit. drag you <laughs> for that effect. The word often. <laughs> Yeah, it's mm. badass. Now, I'm glad you introduced yourself <laughs> as a lesbian vampire. Because my mother would never like. introduce herself as a screaming lesbian. No. <laughs> now, so, uh, Alex didn't like getting his hair wet. So when he falls into the water, he's keeping his head up. <laughs> he's driving One of the We did it over and over again. Glenn see. goes right down, yeah. and Glenn keeps his head up when he, fall, when he finally drops. One of the a few Ooh. times you'll ever see Glenn with his mohawk down. Uh, yes. Yeah, seriously. He's never been around on rainy days. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I, that was a long run. <laughs> 
Was the water cold? Do you remember? No, it was no, beautiful. It was, it was, it was September. Shower, it was at so the, it was the end, end of the season, I think. Yeah, yeah. it was the oh, week after Labor really nice. Day. That's pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Now, is that you there? Uh, I, I think. No, that was Nick. This is Nicky. Uh, that's that's Nick. the stunt yeah. double. Yeah. yeah. Why, why did you not reshoot it? Are you allowed to tell? Uh, oh, I was pregnant with my younger guy uh, at the time and was not feeling well at all. So when we had to reshoot, you a you asked me to reshoot, and I was like, I don't think that I can at <laughs> all. No, but already the reason why we up had enough. to reshoot was I couldn't spin. Now, in that scene, you also wanted some bubbly water <laughs> coming enhanced. out, but that didn't work out. Pardon me, Peter? You wanted some like bubbles and stuff coming out of the water, we but had that didn't work bombs. out. All oh, right, yeah. because they're supposed to die. He throws them into the great <laughs> one of the Great Lakes. The Lake Ontario? Yeah. Specifically to kill the vampires. He blesses mm -hmm. the lake. Yeah. So I wanted bubbles and um but I also counted on the suspension of disbelief for people to believe that. So here comes the drinking game. Every time you see a silver Honda, you gotta drink. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who silver Honda that is? Cheryl's? Yeah. That's your car. Yeah. That's the car Cheryl's you used to have. Yeah. Cheryl's, Cheryl's car. Oh, and there was your car. It's funny looking in the background. No, that wasn't my car back then. I didn't own that yet. So that's that's not Phil, right? <clears throat> was that you for these sheep? No. no. That's Ian. That's Ian Driscoll's Jesus Christ yeah. Empire. The writer, Ian Driscoll. You can tell by his lips. You can tell by, and that's Alex's Ow. ears. Yeah. Uh. That's Alex, and that's Phil. Why is it so you right. here Three today? So that's right, three people play Jesus in this movie. <laughs> There's oh, Sanjay, Phil's there's, landlord. Yeah. <laughs> there's Nancy Reilly from Harry Knuckles and the Pearl Necklace. And Gwen. Is that Gwen? Oh, I was going to say. And Brian. And, uh, Brian Curry wow. and his wife Jen. Oh. Gwen looks like Mimi Van Doren. Yeah. Casey Gwen, Taranjo. Gwen's in Berlin? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's Ian, the right. Ian oh, Driscoll she was, was writing she was in running a, with the, the New York uh, Times recently. Wow. Yeah. She awesome. Ian's in. Yeah, she's doing well. <laughs> she was interviewed by a photographer for a segment about um, professional women who've decided not to have children. I, Anita. Do you recall seeing that posted? Yeah. And John Yeeman. That's John Yeeman. He used to be a, my partner here at the Mayfair. Mm -hmm. Brian. Hmm. And my wife's sisters. Oh, there's Matt. Matt. <laughs> he sings. <laughs> oh, I remember the him. Magician. He was your buddy, your the Peter assistant Peter. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my wife's sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this your first musical number, Phil? Uh, musical number? Yes. In this movie? In yeah. cinema history. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you weren't born yet the first time. Mm, Karen, so there's she Gwen made all, again. Karen made all those outfits, born, eh? You were in a cantipless movie. Cute. So we just no, showed up and filmed that location, right? Just after the war. That's crazy. That is crazy that we, yeah, there's my mom. Yeah. Lee, Phil didn't Dennis Karen make all those outfits? Yes, all right, that's right. Karen that's right. Freeze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Karen and her sister. <laughs> we didn't ask for permission to shoot anywhere. We didn't close down any streets. It was Sherry Bortz. Sherry Bortz. Bortz Nancy. Nancy with her street. big boobs. <laughs> There's my wife. There's my wife marrying Phil's landlord. <laughs> <laughs> now, my kids still haven't seen this. I think this is going to be their favorite moment in the movie. <laughs> like, These, like, I didn't know my dad was him. <laughs> Do you see the the orange light on the side that that, that keeps throbbing? Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. was that before no the spider? Look, that, no spider in front of the. No oh, spider. Wow. No yeah, mama. That's, crazy. that's, that's the, the, the light that leaking into the film. So I wasn't. I was changing the film on the sidewalk where we were filming, and if light leaked into the camera, it created that that throbbing, hmm. that red throb, <laughs> which I kind of really like. I missed that. It's not in digital. <laughs> <laughs> I like this funny part. Is this where the spider is now? Okay, who choreographed all this ridiculousness? Ken Godmere. <laughs> yeah, Ken Godmere. Ken Godmere. Those are his kids who were hopscotching. Ah, oh, there's Court? Yeah, Court. Court. And if you were just in the market that day, sitting down with your kids, <laughs> the yeah, seriously. The movie, that's going to be celebrated 20 years later. Where's my mom again? Oh, and that's Karen's sister beside her. Yeah. 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 And uh, there's a child straight in front of him. <laughs> what the hell is going uh, on in this film? Well, I told people just show up and wear whatever you want. And he went crazy. Wow. <laughs> he wore nothing. Sanjay's in this movie quite a bit. Who's Sanjay? Yeah. 
Well, there he is going uh, up the stairs, my wife. You see, I think she's more nimble than that I miss that he amphitheater. Is. I forget whose wedding dress that is. Isn't that hers? Maybe it's my wife's Why is the priest dress? smoking? Because he's cool. It's Tim DeVries. He smokes. Because he's a priest, they're Catholic allowed to break the rules. Smoke. Yeah. It's a stressful oh. job. <laughs> and Jesus always wears sneakers. Apparently. Oh, this is funny. This old man just happened to walk into the shot. Oh, oh that's that awesome. Guy. I had to use this shot because he's great. He is great. He I'm doesn't wondering. look. He looks really mad that yeah, you're there. Yeah, yeah. That might have been the emb- That's an embassy, isn't it? Yeah, that that was the uh, Mozambican embassy. It's not anymore. <laughs> and I used to live here with my wife. Is this your apartment, yeah, Lee? Yeah. That's- Don't you still have that couch? You had the couch for a long time. I still have that couch. If it yep. still holds up, yep, I, might as well. I catch my kids on there romping every once in a while, and I had a really small DVD collection back then, which is embarrassing to see. God, look at this white walls. There's nothing more pathetic to try to photograph than white walls. And bugs on the walls and doors. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the last thing we shot was the crosses on the turntable. I don't know where, who came up with that idea, but it was, that was the last thing we photographed. And this is the straight shooters restaurant. So what was this you were saying that whatever location you filmed that, that location ended up closing down? Oh no! <laughs> Lots of oh, it's a the curse. Dominion's still open, but yeah, this place. Well, not is every gone single right one, but some of them. But this spot. Yeah, I forget. Yeah. This is on Bank Street. Yeah. Yeah, Bank and Gilmore. Yeah, around there. So. Was it the Mayflower? No, no, no. It was like down to Bank and Gilmore. That's the writer. There. Was it? It was a, it the was Tommy a diner. Street? No. What, what? No, no. It's on. It's on the other side of the street. Oh. Okay, so like Ian a little wrote bit closer it. to Wallach's. Ian wrote it, but whose idea was it to Long make gone. a Jesus Christ vampire film? Was it yours and Ian's? Well, Ian and I were driving to Toronto. Uh, we rented a van and we were going to pick up a 16 millimeter steam back so I can cut Harry Knuckles and the Treasure of the Aztec Mummy on. And on the way to Toronto, mm. he, we were listening to Michael Jackson and Ian said the four words, Jesus Christ vampire hunter. Mm. I said to him, that sounds like a great movie. <laughs> and on the oh, ride dear. back, we can see the whole movie. Fantastic. And he went to write. He went to work writing it right away, and we were editing Harry Knuckles and started shooting shortly after we got back from Slam Dance, as I mentioned before. And I'd just like to make it clear that Ian Driscoll or Lee Demar smoke marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> never have, so it's pretty strange. <laughs> it is true. I've never smoked. Oh yeah, marijuana. and then you maybe designed his T-shirt, Straight Shooters. Yeah, oh, Renita. Because I That's thought it would be Renita. fun to yeah. parody Hooters. Yeah. Her name, yeah. Or that is her name. What's her name? Renita. Renita. I forgot oh. her name. Yeah. Uh, she lives overseas too, I think, in oh, England, maybe? She's gorgeous. I remember she her boyfriend. Was yeah. Dog. Her boyfriend was watching over us. <laughs> she has a very cute wiener dog now. Oh, wow. <laughs> so does Gwen. <laughs> oh, so do I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I follow both of their wiener dogs on Instagram. Look at that funny looking old mimey. Yes. I know, that's Tim's. So is this film? Is <laughs> he this had film lots of cash all the time. We never yeah. had to worry about it. This film is set in Ottawa. I, it has to be set in Ottawa because we tried to. Do, I tried to shoot in a way that you couldn't tell what city it was shot in. But everyone who watches it, a lot of the comments, a lot of the reviews, is that it's shot in Ottawa. And there's the Embassy of Venezuela right okay. there. I thought it was a gay pride parade. Okay, so <laughs> flag. Uh, now this is now so. Who's driving his Better car? Watch. Look Looks at him like go that. around a corner. Look at him go. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, Duke, Duke who owns that Jeep was really mad at me for that shot. Yep. But this scene is everyone's favorite scene in the movie. Who I don't know. Is this that? is the scene that everyone talks about the most. If you read user comments on IMDb or YouTube, this is whatever. This is the one scene which is kind of. It's not my favorite action scene in the movie, but everyone loves this scene. It's inspired by a, a scene from a Lloyd Kaufman movie. Yeah, there's all these embassies in the background, and you shot a scene recently here, Phil, for your new movie. Hot knives, and I want to do something similar to this in our new movie. That's the bar staff from Bear Moors and uh, Zaphods. Oh wow! Pretty much right. Yeah. <laughs> We're shooting a new movie called Enter the Drag Dragon, which is a kung fu action comedy horror See, about a drag queen. And I want to shoot in this. Carm, is that Jeff? Andre. Jeff, when yeah, he was, was one Jeff. person hmm. smaller or bigger. I found oh, the flyer. Yeah. I found the flyer <laughs> that we posted around town saying. Show up to this park down. to be in the movie, and Phil mm. gets to beat Andre. you up. And every just bouncer showed up, <laughs> and some filmmakers. There's a few filmmakers in the next 
and there's kids playing in the background with their parents. And just minding oh, their own business. Jeff. Like woman on the picnic like, blanket. There's another <laughs> day in the park. <laughs> la, 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 la. Not caring what's That's going on. That's the best on. thing about <laughs> Ottawa. Nobody bugs <laughs> you when you're making lunch. a dumb yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> I do like this game. Nobody calls the cops. Is that Albert? Yeah, I think that's his My name. goodness, he looks like a baby. Yeah, he was. Chris Albert. Oh, uh, Sherry Barnes. Oh, my God. Peter Lord. Yurt, wow. and it was uh, uh, Brian Singleton in there. I he does look like yeah. a baby there. Brian Singleton's a filmmaker Oh, there's the old Ottawa. projector oh, yeah. guy from Paul, the Projectionist. Paul Davis. Paul from Davis projected Bicam. this movie at the Bicam. Peter Peening, watch out. There's Peter Peening again. There. Yeah. He's Peter he's Peter. our uh, Guillermo hmm. from, from Jimmy Kimmel. What's, what's that guy's name? Peter Peening. Peter Peening. He right. ran for mayor of Paul. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> he was trying to run There's for more member guys of Parliament. In a car. That's right. Wow. Well, he ran. There's Nancy Reilly again from Harry Knuckles. For what? Like libertarian or something? No, for the NDP. Actually. NDP. Wow, yeah. that's cool. There. There's Court again. There's Miles. Miles <laughs> Finland and James. What's the Afro? Miles and James Henderson. Yeah. Is that James Henderson? Wow. Yes. Yeah, James. He was yeah. It's Miles Finlinson. and That's James, yeah. Yeah, James. James is in my first film, Hacker. There's, that's Jeff Moffat. That's Santos. <laughs> Who's that guy? Oh, John Carroll's never seen this movie before. <laughs> Miles is a filmmaker. Miles wrote a script. For, he wrote the script for something I'm trying to make. Miles is in the car. <laughs> Miles is in the car. Right, Peter? Uh, Miles what? Miles is in the car. Oh, yes. Miles is always in the car. That's an People inside joke. People are very angry we'll about that. To, that's a DeMarv. That's yeah, Dan that's, DeMarv. That's Lee's cousin. Yeah. Hmm. People in the background. Well, I've never seen that's since I shot the scene. Atheist. Nor before. <laughs> now, that's this, all these people. Okay. Ian came from California to be in this movie. Yeah, so did that, other, that guy, too. Yeah. They loved Harry Knuckles for some reason and wanted to be in this film. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And I'm making a film now, and i got a few people in, in California who want to come up and be in it again. I just don't know if it's going to happen. One that you have it. need Actra people or? I'm still no, not, no, no, no. We're Actra. still friends with her, with Ian. She's on my Facebook. Yeah, Ian, I heard from Ian the other yeah. day. She's been noticing all my posts. Ouch, about that movie. almost looked like it hurt. <laughs> so I brought that outfit, Phil. I hope you put it on later. I still have the Jesus Christ outfit. <laughs> really good too. Now, he was a, he's the only real martial artist who sh showed up on set. Everyone was just pretending he's pretty and, amazing and, and yeah he's good and it's funny he uses all these martial arts skills and doesn't use one of them against phil phil just kind of kicks him in the face and the game is over <laughs> i think he showed up we tried to choreograph something but it took so long to get through everyone else we just had it so phil i think he yeah he landed funny he, he landed backwards and he turned his head and phil just kicked him it's kind of funny and he came in from montreal to do this scene actually we're not was it Toronto? Was it? Yeah, maybe Toronto. <laughs> that's our first. That's our song. Was in Toronto. So you just make that up on on site. Yeah, yeah. He landed <laughs> backwards. He landed backwards. I just turn your head and get kicked in the face. And oh, wait for this moment. Yeah. Well, so the end. when she gets kicked across the ground, <laughs> the boob moment. When, when she gets kicked across the ground, it's animated, and we did so, that because it's a homage. At the time, I thought Norman McLaren, Norman McLaren shot his movie Neighbors in this park. So I wanted to do an animation style that was similar to Neighbors, oh. but I found that it was a different park. Yeah. <laughs> so different I'm park. shooting in that park now in her new movie. I'm was it it was close it. by. Yes. But this is Norm, so Norm, this Norm McLaren, <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to look like oh, this oh, movie. And everyone's there. <laughs> everyone, and everyone yeah. all of a sudden is there. No, we in shot this first. This is the first shot we did that day. So, everyone lie down. We shot that, and now get back in the Jeep and come out, and we'll beat you up. And that's how we shot that scene. Oh, see, you remember. Very Jesus, well. oh my God. I remember shooting this. We got a, I was sitting <laughs> well, in a wheelchair. that's Selgin Street. Oh no, that's, that's no, that's uh, 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 Cumberland, actually. Dalhousie. No, it was, that was Cumberland. Cumberland, it's Cumberland. Yeah. And I'm sitting so in a wheelchair. It's right near where I live now, actually. Do you still have those shoes or socks? Uh... Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Does he? He has no. the same underwear, but not the same socks. <laughs> oh, those socks I still have. Do you still have wood? I never throw out old socks. Can you tell I'm doing this handheld in a wheelchair? I might as well just be walking backwards. <laughs> oh, yeah, you love shooting uh, your tracking shots. Oh, there's a silver Honda. Because, I, because Godard used the wheelchair, and I thought it'd be cool, so I stole the wheelchair. And 
I always I keep stealing wheelchairs, so I find the perfect wheel. Now I'm pushing handicapped people out mm -hmm. of the wheelchairs to take. Okay, them. so where did you find <laughs> this actress? Or Phil found her. Phil tell us that story. Founder. <laughs> Under a rock in Newfoundland. The Lawson found at the church. <laughs> no, no, you, you found her <laughs> at a I store. She was uh, serving you ice cream or something. You said, Lee, you should hire this girl. That's the story I remember. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, she <laughs> worked at a coffee longer. place in <laughs> the Rito Center. You should buy coffee off of her or something, and then yeah, you well, told Lee, you gotta hire her. She's just uh, a regular. But uh, wasn't she already interested in acting? Yeah. 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 She. She actually uh, was uh, into, uh, like, she, she did one or two things at the Ottawa Little Theatre, but she had done that sort of stuff before where she was from in Newfoundland. Right. She's a Newfie. I'm a little tense. Um, so if you see someone in the movie and you're wondering where they are tonight, it's because they moved out of Ottawa. So, so Where's Mar Ian? Maria now lives in uh, the Prairies, and she's a mother, I think of two. Um, Ian Driscoll, the writer of the film. Oh, that bath towel! I still use that bath towel. I use it every <laughs> oh, wow. day. That's the, that's the bath. I got that from at the Slam Dance Film Festival. It's okay. I have towels that are 20 years old. Too. It's ripped though. It's ripped to shreds, and my kids are like, "Dad, get a new towel because we can see your ass." And I'm like, "I can't because it's a prop from Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter." Um, Ian Driscoll's not here because of COVID reasons. Oh, okay. Um, and I respect that. But oh, Ian's here totally. In spirit. Um, what was I going to say about her? Uh, so she's not here because she lives in the prairies now. Um, and she's a mom too, right? Yeah. 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 And a, a happy mother. I haven't seen her though since I, I don't know if I've seen her since she's seen the movie. I don't know if she's seen the movie. Was she, at, she was at the premiere, was she? But I just, I never, I don't know if she was at the premiere because I found, I can't found, remember because she I found wasn't my of present age. for her. I, anyway, we used to, this is, this is a sauna that wasn't on and I had a smoke machine. Uh, on the floor, blowing smoke around to make it look like these guys are sweating. Ian had a script in one hand and a spritzel, spritzer <laughs> bottle in the other, and he was spritzing up the actors. It worked. To make them look yeah. sweaty. It worked. It was perfect. actually in your building. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wonder if people paid a lot of rent for that building. The sauna doesn't even work. <laughs> I wonder if people go to the sauna and think this is where they shot Jesus Christ Vampire. Ah, uh, it's probably still <laughs> busted. I still remember after this film. I don't know where we were, but. You had this epiphany, Lee, and you were like, movies are just an illusion. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. An epiphany. And, That's the last time I had an epiphany. I yeah. had one and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, like, that girl, wow. That outfit is very popular, yeah. too. It's funny, 20 years later, when I watch this movie, I think about the things that everyone talks about. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. talks about the atheists. And everyone talks about this outfit. Made and everybody talks Paul. about designer you know, Paul's phenomenal. Or something? Yes. Oh, there's that. There's the Sparky. There's the Sparky. That's what we oh wanted. Wow. Paul was amazing with leather oh, and Paul latex and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And these salt and pepper shakers are talked about quite a bit. I actually saw a picture of Paul a couple of years ago. He was in Toronto with some people that I know from and Hamilton, and he looked really healthy, and I was really oh, yeah, happy. Well. That's Graham Collins who scored the it's film. Vegan. Yes. So Graham did all the music, all the all the instrumental score. Hammerheads did uh, um, "Everybody Gets Laid Tonight" and "Stepping Out with Jesus," but Graham scored all the rest of the music. Graham, the big and the wig musical. And Graham Lloyd, Collins. What is it? Long and he lives in Toronto. McQuaid, Long and McQuaid now. Mm. He's like a manager or something. Wasn't there someone in? Oh, he's working there now. I think so in what Toronto. Did, yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He one of the shots Phil did where he went into the change room. There was someone in there already. That's the hair ah. shirt. <laughs> I miss that store. Mm. That's right. And we have the overalls are there behind Phil to hide the mirrors. That's a hairy knuckle. That's, that's a fuzzy knuckles. knuckles uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the fuzzy knuckles costume. Oh, God. <laughs> what was the, the name of that store? I can't even remember. Allegro. What? Allegro. Right, Allegro. People like wow. that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a Mike, the Mike Funk, Funk, Funk shirt. shirt. Uh, Oh, yeah, the Hammerheads did this music. Really? Yeah, I remember they did this. It's supposed to sound like the music from 400 Blows, True Yeah, Song. that's what it sounds like. Uh, I gave, I gave Dave, Dave Bignall the soundtrack for 400 Blows, and he came up with this, which is nice. I know she does that. <laughs> I was really worried she was going to tickle me. <laughs> well, Phil, you got this smile on your face. Well, that's why she's going to tickle me. <laughs> <laughs> I've not no clothes. 
<laughs> that is a nice shirt you're wearing there. It's I like Muriel a... was the first person I ever knew to have a sleeve that tattoos. Tattoos in places where no, most and people didn't still, have tattoos. And at that time, though, she still hid them from her family. Right. She'd always go right. home with long sleeve shirts oh, wow. and stuff in the middle of summer. <laughs> and they saw the movie, and that was the first time they found out she had tattoos? <laughs> Maybe? She's Maybe, not here, yeah, but she lives in Toronto. Yeah, possibly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Graham looks like a baby, too. I think Ian's really happy with this dialogue. He loves all the, the scat he came up with, the bebop dialogue for Graham in that scene. Come on, Mary. <laughs> a lousy nickel? A nickel's five dollars. <laughs> you still have that shirt? I love that line. Script here. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, Ian, Ian, we stuck to the script mostly. Ian was always on set, and if anything was changed, he changed it in the script so he had a fi finished script. That so when a year later, when I had the actors come into the studio, because we shot this with a 16 millimeter Bolex, and the 16 millimeter Bolex was a wind up camera, and it made a lot of noise. So we didn't record any of the dialogue with the actors. So they had to come in a year later when we finished the movie to redub in mm. their lines. There's the Bytown Cinema. Mm -hmm. Guide right there, the rack where we showed the movie. We premiered. And that's the movie. Muriel's car, I believe. It's her own personal car. Anyways, it looked like continue. It tramps. Oh my gosh! The camera was so wow. loud wow. that the actors had to come back. <laughs> Is that Sasha? They, nice to do the underage drinking in front there. Of the they car? changed any of the dialogue. <laughs> Ian had to know of that about that. Wow. Yeah, that was Muriel's car. And now these shots. Yeah. Of the motorcycle, they're in the back of a pickup truck. They're in the back of Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Dave Dave Cherry's pickup Cherry's truck. Cherry's pickup truck. And, and uh, you can see me there in the reflection. And I'm lying down in the pickup truck to get these shots, and they're just pretending to That's a great shot, Lee. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> the camera was so small, no, I, I remember, could get yeah. into all these small places that get no, shots those, you that, couldn't that's get That's another great shot. Regular camera. Yeah. Hospitals that way. Uh, we, this is not too far. Okay, so I gotta tell you where we are. We're in the Mayfair Theater right now. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter premiered in, on June 10th, 2001, at the Bytown Cinema, which is blocks away from here. After a week of playing at the Bytown, it played at the Mayfair, where we are now, for two weeks and, and, and sold out. So that's where we are. This is the cinema we're in right now. And this is where I used to live. This is our parking garage. And now they have it gated. So you couldn't do a scene like this today. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Phil. And Maria, or Phil's, you get your mask on, Phil? <laughs> and if, you, if you're watching this 10 years from now, it, we're in the middle of the pandemic, the fourth right. wave pandemic. Well, and the Mayfair and Theater, the Mayfair yeah, Theater is closed because of COVID. So uh, we're able to do this private screening. Yeah. Now they, they, go, they go down this grate and we had to build a ventilation shaft. In my oh, friends. I forgot oh. about this scene. Why does every film have to have a ventilation chef scene? <laughs> every film, Die Hard. Why? <laughs> and if you actually did it for real, you'd probably just get stuck or fall so you right through. The vent mm. shaft. And who built it? There? No, that's Dave like Jerry all muck and garbage one down angle there. For you and you shot <laughs> over and over in it. Jason Haggard built this, and we okay. shot this in his living room. And oh he just my built, gosh. He built I about did not know that. Four that feet. That was fun. And each corner they come around, it's the same corner. You're shopping a different <laughs> angle. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's only really four cool. feet long. And I really didn't, I didn't suspect how good it would look with the reflections. Like, especially her suit reflected all mm. over. It looks really nice. But uh, it, it's, a, it's a fun little shoot. I mean, you do a tracking shot. I can't remember what, I was on a skateboard, <laughs> I think. Mm. And so they're supposed to be fitting inside this tiny little... Look, it was, a, it was uh, a miracle it didn't fall through the oh, ceiling. Eleanor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eleanor, that's right. Eleanor yeah. Cousinell. Eleanor was dating Josh at the time. And that TV, I think, is in the in the Mayfair now, isn't it, Peter? Is that your TV? Uh, no, I don't think so, but it's a very similar TV. Yeah. Oh. Back then, those TVs were everywhere, but nowadays, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Oh, well, and back then, they were vintage. Yeah. They were from the 70s, those yeah. little ones. Josh Grace did all the gore effects for the movie. And he just got hired to do Gorefax for a new movie Ooh. that he shot in Ottawa. And that's supposed to be guts? Like, what is that? Is that a pump? No, it's well, he, there, that's the skin. The skin yeah. graft. It, it looks like, it makes it look like she's a robot. Wow. Yeah. It makes it look like she's an engine. So there's, there's Phil and they're in there, <laughs> which makes me laugh. Um, 
And, we, and I wanted to create a hospital setting, and I, all I had was that white background. That, that, that <laughs> curtain was the only thing that made it look like a hospital. We have to mention that this is in the party room of yeah, that was the party Lee's room apartment, apartment, apartment building that's downstairs. Yeah. The sauna bath thing was just around the corner. That's right. Where you Josh has a yeah. lot more tattoos now. That's right. Yeah. He's got more teeth then than he does now. <laughs> I, I'm only teasing him because he's not here. I know. Everyone who's in the movie who's not here is because they live in a different city. Josh is not here because he drank too much <laughs> today. <laughs> because the Montreal Canadiens are playing right oh, now. Oh, the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, I you're lucky. Have I'm here. Ew. Ah! It's a good thing they were dating back yep. then. <laughs> yeah. Because that's so gross. <clears throat> so here's our writer, the writer of Jesus Christ Vampire, Ian Driscoll, playing Johnny Golgotha. Mm. Yeah. And Ian... The only prop he has left from this movie is one of his T-shirts, which I'll point out later. Send me a photo. He has long sideburns too, because Shelley insisted that all the men have long sideburns in this yes, movie. Yes, I did. <laughs> she really bugged me about growing my they're sideburns. They're only hot with sideburns. This only makes sense it's if she's ridiculous. a robot. You just wanted stuff to pop and burst and do stuff. Yeah. Oh, we had that outfit. So that her outfit she's wearing there was made by Paul Phenomena, who also did the red. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. The fun for outfit. Listen, we need to talk. I'm out of the mode over lunch. I'm famished. I think this is the one film I watched. I've made a few films with Ian. This is the one film I have a hard time watching with Ian because he squirms during, during all his scenes. I like his. He's, he's having fun with the world. See the great shadows on her face? That's like more that's, thought that's that we fantastic. put into lighting in that one shot. From that little movie. great that's overlooking this. <laughs> <laughs> this movie makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> now here comes my mom's scene. <laughs> in the lesbian drop-in center. But we have to go through Ottawa first. We have to do a chase. Now this song that's playing right now is the same song from before, but played backwards. And that was you Graham's idea. I was thinking that was another movie. It sure sounds like backwards. Yeah, it's, he just it played the same track backwards because they're leaving, which is, it's very it's brilliant. Yeah, I, I can't think of another example of that. Now here's the arts court where we got a, mm -hmm. we got some financing to make this movie uh, at the Saw video. So we covered up the Saw video sign with the lesbian drop-in center sign. I still have the lesbian drop-in center sign at home. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mother. I got to talk about my mother a little bit. She's in the scene. And one one day she called me. She said, Lee, can you, can you call Google? Because every time my friends look up my name ha. in Google, it says screaming lesbian. Yeah. I <laughs> never noticed that you guys hiding yeah. behind their lap before in that look, last a shot. Spark plug. Yeah, is that a spark plug next to the drink? Yeah. Why is there a spark well, plug? Well, because we could try to come up with a lesbian drop in center the sign. Sharp as spark plugs. Yeah. There's my mom. Ah. Hmm. And the scream, it's supposed to be the. Wow. It's supposed to be from. It's inspired by a Hershey Gordon Lewis movie. It's from the Gorgo -Gor Girls. Oh, okay. It's Catherine. Kathy, yeah. yeah. And I worked at the, oh, the, the, the Bytown Dad Cinema with Phil, so I, I just grabbed as many lesbian movie posters and put up. I'm a, I'm a cheerleader. That's a, and, and some Was of that the, Mofo? No, that's not. That was. I couldn't do that. Some of the pictures. There's Tracy. Gloria Oddbottom's in that scene. Mm -hmm. High arts, a lesbian drama. <laughs> and Lee wanted me to slap his mom across right. the face. So she slap. even said yes, and I couldn't do it. But we cut away, and you hear the slap. Mm. I couldn't bring myself to slapping Lee's mom across the face. Uh, show me love. That's a lesbian drama. And it's a sucking cup cup. You want to play a game? Oh, <laughs> I thought this really. This, I wanted him to have a dirty hairy moment. If dirty hairy was a, a vampire, he'd do a scene like this. Oh. <laughs> Gull a bull. Uh, how many dead lesbians are there? Eight. Nine. And most of them work at the Bytown Cinema. Or, oh, there. Yeah, I don't know this, all the names. This there was Tracy's friend Brenda was in somewhere. there. <laughs> Spock? Well, it was like that music from Star Trek fights. <laughs> That's right. Right. Arts Court. Two Arts daily Court. Again, another location where we just showed up and filmed. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. But you know, there's no one. And the rooftop for your apartment. That's what yeah. this is. We yeah. shot all the stock to the building. Mm. Up here. That's right. I forgot when you guys you like lived in Sandy Hill. 
Remember, Phil, we went up there to shoot the sun down, the sunset? Yeah, we shot the there? lightning uh, striking That's the steeple right. there. That's right, full circle. Same. Same. Oh, yeah, we had the Ian's wearing dad jeans. I cut, we cut, we soldered the chair so it would fall apart when it hit the door. Well, that's the worst sound effect, special sound effect. Right in the throat. What did you say? Ian's wearing bad jeans? Dad jeans. <laughs> dad, well. Shiny outfit. What do you think, Thetis? It looks pretty good, right? 20 years later? You know, <laughs> why, you know why it looks good? It's because it's shot on 16 millimeter and it, and they recently did an HD scan of the, of the negative. Look at those blues. Hmm. Great. Look. It's really nice. It looks, we're watching it here on the big screen at the Mayfair, and it turned out really well. I like those cuts. That's a Sammo Hung. I think Sammo Hung for those edits. The way this action scene shot, it was, um, I, was, I, was, I was exercised by Sammo Hung. Ew. <laughs> Did you really spit that at him, and then he licked it up out of your mouth? Um, we I used, don't remember. He might have used a, a syringe. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe, yeah. But I, I mean, had a, it's a, it's I have a briefcase full of syringes at home. I'm ho I think it might have been for that or something else. I'm forgetting. <laughs> what do you think so far, John Carroll? <laughs> our, <audio> <laughs> our, <laughs> yeah. our, our audio technician tonight has never seen this movie. John Carroll, thank you, John Carroll, for showing up and coming. They record our stupid comments. And this is this is my attempt at doing an Emmanuel or Jess Franco lesbian scene. <laughs> I like how Sammo Hung and Jess Franco inspired this one scene. And Star Trek. I remember Maria was really concerned about uh, depicting herself as a lesbian because she didn't know what her mom would think. Aww. And so she was still a young kid back then. Yeah, she was she like was. 19 yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, and it was, and it was 20 years yeah, ago. I was going to say, we've come a long way. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. not do math. So, oh yeah, this was shot in Montreal. So this yep. is the only thing shot outside of Montreal. Oh, Ottawa. I didn't know that. We drove all the way to Montreal. He, we, had, Josh Grace had the idea to have Ivan in the movie because it was Beard. Mm -hmm. And Ivan suggested this house that was in Montreal that looked like it was being swallowed up by the grass. Mm. And we, we just, instead of bringing Ivan to Ottawa, we went to uh, Montreal to, to shoot with him. I did not know that. That's something I learned today. And look, like, I always notice pay phones because they don't exist anymore. I know. You know, the few pay phones in Ottawa are only for drug dealers. I still don't pimps. have a smartphone uh, or cell phone. Who was that, Gilmore that? Bank? I, I still don't have a cell phone. Or Lisger Oh, really? Bank. Oh, wow. Lisger yeah. Co Co That's Cooper, super. maybe. Actually, yeah, no, I'm still holding out corner. as long as possible. Yeah, okay, so that would be yeah. Lisger Bank. Well, if you've That's held out this long, then. Oh. <laughs> I directed the hacker with. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Invisible Cinema behind him. Yeah. Which is the best it wasn't there yet, though. I was That's trying right. to remember what that place was called was like the Wallace. other day oh, when yeah, I was yeah, walking right. by That's it. the site of Wallace. That's Mark Sharon cool. was also in, uh, that's the one out of focus shot in the movie. He's in Smash Cut. He's got a scene with Sasha Gray. <laughs> what an asshole. And now, why, why the is an Australian policeman in Ottawa? That's Jose Sanchez. And Jose Sanchez is a film professor at Carleton University. And he also ran the Gay and Lesbian Film Festival here in Ottawa. I love But he's him also in a this. teacher at Carleton U, like yeah, teaching he's film, a film studies. Study, film, study student, film study professor. So 20 years later, I still meet young people who are taking film studies at Carleton who know Jose. And I say, you should watch Jesus Christ because. <laughs> Hmm. In Jesus Christ Vampire, Jose gives Jesus you Christ a blowjob. Whose dog that was, shall we? Which dog? The little dog that he was holding. No, I don't. Okay, it was. Um, that's what I'm trying to remember. It's Muriel's friend. Uh, the one that was had the bicycle accident. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm, I'm most gracious oh, of this scene, yeah. mostly Aww. because it makes our film a game, a gay, you know, have gay content. And because of which, we got into so many amazing gay and lesbian film festivals around the world. There's Mary, your mother is on the, 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 the light. Oh, yeah. Um, because of this scene, we got accepted in so many gay and lesbian film festivals. That's we went to the San, I went to San Francisco for a week and showed this movie at the Castro Theater, which is one of our best greetings for a week because of uh, this scene and, and, you know, I guess the lesbians, too. And I told myself then I would always try to include the, this community in our films because I want to keep going back to those same festivals. Hmm. 
and yeah, great, and really gracious to support to see, inclusion to, and diversity. Yes, yes. <laughs> and twenty years ago, it was a thing, you know. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Was, you know, gay cinema was becoming really big, and and, and uh, I worked at the Bytown, and we'd sell out movies like Wild. And um, I can think it's you know, it was it was a big deal back then. Now I still have a few of these steaks at home. Three, three survived, but the same guy who built the ventilation shaft built those stakes. Hmm. He would go on to build and fill your coffin in Harry Knuckles and the Pearl Necklace. Those stakes were so yeah. cool with the rope on them. Jason uh, Hager. Jason Hager. Yeah. Saw him a few months ago. That's some powerful acting here, For the Phil. first time in the <laughs> last I had to time. zoom in there because Phil got a haircut. See, his hair is different here. I had to <laughs> zoom in because he <laughs> cut his hair too short and I had to hide it. I didn't. Well, so you hired someone, someone else. Did. I don't <laughs> hire people to cut my hair. People just cut it. <laughs> I don't like. It's like haircut. like Jason's beard and hot knives. Ooh, so this yeah. cherries jubilee. This is a puppet. That looks amazing. Who's the puppeteer, Peter? Uh, Mike Artel. Wait, Mike Artel. So I right. called Mike Artel to ask him to do a puppet for my new movie, and he and he wasn't keen, but he said I still have the cherries jubilee puppet. <laughs> so this this. Will this puppet will be in our new movie? This character, this is God. Oh, fantastic! And this is going to be in our new film. So this is the, that exact same one. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So we expect <laughs> to see it in our new movie. And Phil, you have a funny story about bullet cherries. You want to tell the story? You mean one of those things? You had some, something happen. Well, recently? recently I hadn't seen one of those or ever in my life. Just a fake one ever. But they were selling pre-made cherries jubilees at Loblaws recently. <laughs> at the Gloucester Center and we're right at the end aisle in the fridge and I was looking and snooping around and I just saw it and I said, is that you, Dad? Oh my that. God. Automatically. Because I, Doesn't that's all I real, could associate with that. Doesn't real Cherry's Jubilee though have booze in it? Yes. Oh, it's well, from Mexico. it was a, a dessert that looked like it. So, the, so this plane, There's so no these shots of me in the plane? Yep. I wanted to do those shots specifically like because I was making this film at IFCO and no Ottawa Inez filmmaker Foster. who was affiliated with IFCO had ever gotten Inez an airplane Foster. shot. Mm. So I had shot. to jump in the plane. They're not my favorite shots in the movie, but I just had to jump oh in and God, get it. That shirt. I just needed this shot. I just, I just expected the plane would come around up to fill like this. But the pilot said, hey, do you want to go up? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And Terry Loretto gave us uh, the opportunity to shoot at this airport yep. and shoot with this airplane. Oh, so wow. thank you, Terry. How is she? She's great. I just talked to her recently. To she was it. in another film of mine. She's in Summer's Moon. There's Gloria Oddbottom. Tracy Lance yeah, is Gloria yeah. Oddbottom. And Jeff Moffat is Santos. And Tracy lives in Australia now with wow. her and husband handy. and two That's young right. boys. And Jeff is happily married and has kids in Nova Where, Scotia. Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island. Okay. <laughs> Where'd that character come from, Oddbottom? It's Phil's country. It's a little tribute to James Bond movies. Oh my God. And that was your idea, Phil? <laughs> yes. And so, so is her bottom. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got a little bit out of hand. Yeah, no. That's my boss. When we work at the uh, photo lab. And we dragged Alana. We dragged her to go to that film that day. We're like, we're making a movie. Come with us. She didn't want to go. She didn't want to go. We made her go. And now she's happy about it. Okay, good. Yeah, Peter, like Peter exactly. hasn't changed at all. Peter hasn't changed. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm Santos. A lot you of people thought your, that was me. You didn't me. have your beard then, though, did you, Peter? I don't think so. It was just very slender. Yeah, he's got it there. No, that's like a goatee or a little bit of stubble. <laughs> Look, best friends always flex their muscles. Ah, oh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I love Jeff as his character. God, he had a hard time yeah. talking. It was a fun day. We spent the day at the um, at the airport and just hung out. And yeah, they should have time. They shouldn't have let us hang out on a runway and make this movie. Oh, no, it was a smaller do that runway. Is that it was back Stu? before 2001. Yeah, Stu Hutchings and yeah. Mike Funk. And Mike. It's a real not a stretch limousine, a real Funkin' Funky. Midgets. Can we use that word anymore in movies? No. Okay. Or commentaries. Little uh, people. I still have that suitcase. That was my mom's suitcase. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's getting a piece of her. 
<laughs> oh my god, he's firing these men from this limousine company. Oh, that guy's cool. That was his, that was his limousine. He wanted and so where did you get this Cadillac? Was it Johnny Vegas' Cadillac? It's a limousine. No, it's not it's a Cadillac. Like, the guy who's driving, that's his. Mike Funk. He's a friend of Mike Funk. Yeah. Mike Funk, you ever need it's a limousine? It's old, like you that's from the 70s. And Mike Funk uh, puts very in the movie. Very early 70s, yeah. And uh, got his friends in. That was in Orleans. I was shot in Orleans. On the way oh, to the yeah. airport. We picked up someone. I think Tracy and Orleans, and we decided to shoot while driving to the airport to shoot the scene. Let's film these shots. That's how you save time. Uh, Mike wow, Funk. even Mike looks really young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are the Cannes Film Festival tickets. Those are tickets <laughs> to movies I saw at the Cannes Film Festival. They're such beautiful. That's a watch that um, Jeff Moffat won at a poker game at Cannes. <laughs> yes, that's right. He won it from George Clooney. Because so, George Clooney sucks at poker. So everyone's scattered all over the country now. And Tracy, she's in Australia? That's yep. right. Wow. Mel she lives, yeah, Down just outside under. of Melbourne. And she flushes the toilet, it goes the other way. Mm. Hey, man, watch it. You get all in the it's kind of neat that you can see out into the market. Mm hmm. Like, oh, there's Raina Dutch oh in the Raina, oh, yeah. Raina works Raina. in this actual building. That's right. Raina <laughs> works at the Mayfair today. She's in her new movie. 20 years later, she's... She oh. hasn't grown an inch. She's behind and mm -hmm. in front of our, the camera of her new movie. She also plays Harriet Knuckles That's in... That's Jen's um, daughter, right? Jen Farr's yeah. daughter, yeah. She plays Harriet Knuckles, Harry Knuckles' daughter in Harry yeah. Knuckles' Treasure of the Aztec Mummy. Aww. And without that movie, we wouldn't be able to make this movie. Okay. It's so cool that... I'm, you know, Phil, you're in our new film, and and and, 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 Rana, and you guys, I have, I have a good scene for you guys. Yeah, give me a scene. Give me something to do. I need you have purpose. to be in water. Yep. I need purpose in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I need, yeah, I need a bunch of angry people to beat up a drag queen. Oh. Where did that bat come from? That was actually there behind the camera. Yeah, this is... Oh my gosh, was she, uh, that was a well poster. Well, oh, wow. For the well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Which I this movie's more would have been working there, I think, at oh, the you time. Oh, the well? Yeah. Yeah. That's what the Navin... I think I knew that. You I worked there? Just forgot. At the well? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The one with the pool tables. Yes. And the messy washrooms. Yes. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> yep. That so was that's, disgusting. That's, yeah. I didn't know you worked. No, the worst. Yeah. Washroom. Actually, I managed it at one point. <laughs> Uh, very briefly. That's Eleanor Quisinel. That's the same woman that oh, he was yeah, operating gotcha. on, on the table. That was his girlfriend, and he often picked his nose and wiped it on her butt. Yeah, did it all the time. Now, and someone complained. Dawn? Someone told me this is not. This doesn't work. To to, to establish the Dominion Tavern with a sign, and then to establish Ottawa as if all of Ottawa is inside the Dominion Tavern, and then cut back. You know what I mean? Well, that I sh that I, and for I some of us, for so many years, instead? it kind of was. I remember it was the last thing I did. I think I, I would have just, I, I kind of agree with that person. <laughs> when I edited the movie, it was the last thing I did. I switched those two shots because I couldn't tell which should go first. And now looking at it, yeah, he's right. Oh my I should goodness, have the shot of those, Ottawa, then the Dominion Tavern sign. And those then are some inside. late nights at the Dominion Tavern. Yeah, film, that man. particularly we're was a, a very late too. night. That's right. I was like... That oh, yeah, was early. There's stories. me in the house. Oh, there's Sanjay, Jay, the magician. Wow. So that's Lucky Ron doing uh, the, the Star Wars scat. I don't know why this song isn't everywhere. It, it, oh, there's a Harry Knuckles poster behind yeah. Johnny Vegas. It's J.P. McDonald. Johnny this was is a so, Star Wars scat song. Johnny Vegas was so wasted one of the nights when we filmed at the Dominion that like I had to make him a plate of food, and he thought, like, I think I saved his life. <laughs> I think we bonded that night. We started filming oh, at 3 o'clock in the morning. And so oh, look, it's uh, Anik. Yeah, Anik. I was trying to yes. remember. Anik, yeah. She has the things in her hair. Oh, so and there's Barb. 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 Writing this scene was fun because we just thought oh, of all and the there's Daniel. Wood. Blessing beer. Toothpicks. That's a lot of Dom regulars, pretty much. KLB. Yeah, so yeah, we started filming at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I, we laughed when the sun was up. Oh, it was There's crazy. Harry Knuckles. Oh, yeah. there it is. This yeah, yeah, Harry yeah. Knuckles. Oh, yeah. I remember meeting these girls, and they said, we'll kiss on camera for you. <laughs> that's exciting. Well, that's, what's her face? Isn't it the... One of them's Adele's friend, and the other one is someone who was dating Ian at the time. Well, 
Oh, there I oh, am. There you oh, there's Shelly. Shelly. <laughs> she oh, really likes Pat the music. Oh, there's Pat Garland that owns... Uh, they see Pat Garland there but on the other side? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, abs- the, not absent. Absent, yeah. Absent? yeah. Okay. I haven't seen him in that a long time. That was the girl that she went to... Be, she became a piercer. That other girl. Someone said this scene is brilliant because you look in the mirror there and you can't see any of the vampires. And they wondered mm-hmm. how did... Odessa Filmworks figure out this amazing special effect <laughs> where you can't That's see so any of the vampires in the mirror. Just ask them to leave the room. <laughs> and I will never reveal this. <laughs> <laughs> leave the room. Oh, there's um, Gabby. Gabby, yeah. yeah. From, from Hot Knives. Oh, wow. And, and there's so uh, regulars, Mrs. Uh, so Ron Burke. Uh, Ka- Kathy? Kathy Burke. Oh, yeah. Kathy she was clapping by the bar. I didn't know her back then. Huh. I like that microphone. Also. And this is like... See, Phil told me he was a drummer and he wanted to drum in the movie. Is that what happened? No, you <laughs> wanted me to drum. But I couldn't sing and drum at the same time. All these people hung out. Oh, remember when... Was what's your face? Nobody was too. there. Remember when, when Mandy McCarthy... We shot this like nobody in front. Because like it was morning. really That's late at shot night. This. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But remember, Everyone was long mm-hmm. gone. I remember too, Mandy McCarthy, she had a... Reaction to the makeup that we were using. Yeah. She had to go to the hospital. Oh my oh, god! She? <laughs> oh, see, know. there's there. You can see Johnny Vegas. And John, sorry, you can see uh, Lucky Ron. No, yeah. oh, that means he's not a vampire. That's that. He's the only non-vampire. <laughs> oh, Jody. Oh yeah, the Everyone famous else killing scenes here. Now, how did we open your your coat? Was Somebody there, pulled his coat. Coat was a really really nice coat that Ian Driscoll owned. And it got destroyed there. Oh no! We, we, yeah, we stitched the fishing wire line. Well, it also open. got all this like crap all over. Right. It, it was hard to open your jacket. Ah, ha, ha. This is ridiculous. Mm. No, it's brilliant. <laughs> oh, right. all, 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 all these people get to go home now. <laughs> Everyone wanted to die so they can go home because it was like so late. <laughs> oh, no, right I on. Oh, there, oh yeah, Kathy. Kathy. Okay, Kathy's got a close up and everything. That's his wife. And they're still married, and they're still rocking and rolling yeah. across the street. From Blood the everywhere. Oh, what a girl. Garlic. Uh-huh. Yeah, Americans because don't you, get this joke. Oh my God. Americans, when this oh, movie came Mary out, Ellen didn't have shawarma <laughs> restaurants <laughs> and never understood. I kept reading Back people saying, how does that scene make any sense? It's Everyone like in Ottawa loved now it. Now I want no shawarma. I don't understand <laughs> why. That's another character, right? Muriel. I love that one. Yes. Oh, no. oh, it's, it's Muriel. It's wow. That's what Peter. it takes to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Your heart's so small. Yeah, Muriel wanted to put on a wig and be in the movie some more. So That's we, what it was. Yeah. Look it's at the carpet. Was Who was that guy? Was he? That was actually. Uh, Mandy's boyfriend? Yeah. At the time? Uh, yeah, yeah. That was Jason Haggard. Well, oh, yeah. Blessed him. With the stakes. Hmm. Ah, burns. Home. Yeah, that makeup sent her to the hospital. Really? Well, there's Peter yeah, it was late because it had latex in it, and she's allergic to latex. Oh my god! Wow. This hurt. I feel we had to put no, it didn't hurt. foam because of that stuff. Foam. It didn't we hurt at all. Foam yeah, all yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Stunts, but it was foam on the stairs and a, and a pillowcase <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> it was still a hard hit. No, it just sounded like it. It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> Because it was amazing. Like, How many wow, times this did is so do it? well padded. Well, probably three times, but like once didn't have to do it, but it was fun. I just couldn't believe how padded it was. Right. Because those oh, otherwise. Oh, this hurt Jeff. All this got in his eyes. He didn't close his eyes. Oh, it's out of focus. I like that shot. <laughs> and there they're not. <laughs> this padded. is a funny scene. Uh, yeah. There's no, no condom <laughs> machine now in the men's washroom. The condoms come down. Condoms are. <laughs> Useless now. That's why they had to close it down. And my favorite thing about going to Dominion for oh years God. is that when he stakes her while taking a shit, that blood hit the ceiling. It's still and there. And the blood there. stayed there for uh, 10, until over recently. 10 years. That's hilarious. Yeah. I think it's if you look carefully, you can still see it because it painted it kind of like after Gore played at Barrymore's, the blood was up around the eagle for oh, years. Well, I, remember, I, <laughs> I remember that. It was for years. It was still blood up. Yeah. So yeah. Paint, they would By paint that over awful the blood eagle. and it would always <laughs> it was good. Wow. seep through the paint. And I love standing in the in the in the urinal, pissing and looking at the blood from Jesus Christ. <laughs> like years later, it, made, it gave me so much joy. And thinking of Mike Funk, thinking of shit. 
I don't think he's taking a shit since this Yeah, and this though. is like it's 5 so in the morning, last shot of the day. Yeah. It's so great, too. Yeah, Johnny up. Vegas is still going strong, you know, yeah. like all these years that he's yeah. been able to. Oh, this scene only exists because Phil got his haircut again. <laughs> and it's like, we have to shoot. Those, I had to shoot. I was frustrated. Those sideburns are ridiculous. I had to shoot a scene. <laughs> yeah, look at all the blood from all the other vampires. Now, who's the voice of Mary? Or God? I don't Mary. know. Oh, it was actually. The artist from the Viking. Who drew the thumb, who painted the thumb. Oh, a Coots. Coots. Jen Coots. That's yeah. right, Jen. She's the voice That's right. of Mary. Who's the voice of Mary? Is that your mom? No, it's no, we just Jen said. Coots. It's Jen, Jen Coots. Coots from the by, from the by town. She worked in the by town. And I still have the light, but the flower in her hand is broken. One of the leaves fell out. Is Jen? Kelly Neal in this at all? Yeah. No. Kelly no? Neal oh, was in the lesbian drop-in center. Was she? She is? As oh, well no, she's the... not. That, no. no. I don't think she's in no, anything. No way. She is in spirit. I just saw her the other day. I saw her last year, or no, maybe the year before, I guess. Kelly Neal runs the yeah. uh, animation festival here in Ottawa. Ottawa International Animation Festival. <laughs> that, hard was, that shot was hard. And I was going to say, shot. how did you do that shot? It was, it, we, we put the bolex right up to the, the door, the, the hole in the door, and the amount of light we had to shine on her face, yeah. she started burning up. Oh, my dear. <laughs> Look at the coffee table. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, we had no. Yeah, you can see what are the light stands. That's why I didn't like shooting with Cheryl lights. Cheryl was so mad about that <laughs> coffee table. <laughs> but M M Maria didn't like that shooting that scene because it burnt her fingers yeah. and she was too close Yikes. to the light. It was hard on her. There's a slam dance poster in the background. Yeah. We just got back from slam dance. I think we just came up with the idea that you could try to stake her with the leg from the coffee table on set. Which made me happy because that's how Jackie Chan and Samuel work. They're always coming up with ideas for action scenes on set. And I really like that shot of Ian. Mm -hmm. It's a good close-up. I still remember putting in those door sound effects. Yeah, he looked pretty sinister there. And it's hard like, for his face to look sinister. Yeah, he's got your baby face. Yeah. Didn't we do a similar shot like that in Harry Nichols? <laughs> with the mirror? Who, whose bathroom are we in here? It's probably his in Montreal. Yeah, he's not wearing pants. But I seem to remember. Now, this is in This Orleans. is Lee's backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember finding one of my Navin. cars. That's where it is. Do you need a hubcap? We shot here. Navin I remember Jack I had here. to get a tetanic shot. How do you say it? Tetanus. Tetanus shot. Because I cut my shin and my wife got really worried. Um, but yeah, I, I, we, I drive by here once in a while. I think about we, we almost got in trouble because we sprayed rocks with the back wheel i remember it sprayed against that car that drove with the back of the motorcycle they to kill us onto the road oh the back of the motorcycle that's right it's a pretty good location though right for, for an action scene mm -hmm. when, you, when you got no budget when you got no budget to, to shoot an, oh. an action movie <laughs> you find car. locations like this you can shoot at it's a good one it's like you got a budget <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. uh oh! Looks like we spent days like, assembling those cars. You wake up in the morning, eh? And you just had a little bit too oh, many. Oh, you see that? That's the gun wife. show. I was just oh, going to say. The gun show. Nice guns. Oh, those are fake. <laughs> I found that silver Honda in this, in this lot years later. But this is our crucifixion scene. This is as close as we can get to a crucifixion scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the lens is kind of dirty there. You can see some black in the blue. It's going to the left of his head. The lens, the lenses were St. Catharines now, I think. Oh, yeah, really? he lives in, oh. yeah, I thought take, in London. Well, he moved London or St. Catharines, somewhere down around there, taking care of his folks. Yeah. Ah, good son. I don't know if I, I still don't know what day I said. <laughs> you can see the little red burn again on the side because I was loading the camera right out there in the sun with no trailers. That's a cool shot. I was lying where Phil was lying to take it. Yeah, all these little... Jesus. Tim's really good in the film. Yep. I love that line. <laughs> That's what he's laughing is waiting for that line. <laughs> Jeff was so great. Oh no! You see yeah. what we, Glorious the Tracy squished. underneath him. We had to dig a hole for Tracy to lie in, so oh. he could lie on top of yeah. her. Oh! <laughs> you know, you could have got a mannequin. And we just used. Holy how do you hold smokes, yourself up, Phil? Phil? Look at your big arms. I think we had people <laughs> pulling him. Yeah. Yeah. If you look, the, the chain's not around yeah. there. And this is my blow-up doll. When he cracked, 
breaks her, that's a blow-up doll. <laughs> and I had to cut oh, it you because can't the tell. vagina came out. I like I how you say it it's so your blow-up doll. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> he loved it yep. so much. <laughs> so, not somebody else's blow-up doll. All these close Your blow-up doll. It's not the blow-up doll. <laughs> oh, you can see a Hammerhead CD in the car. I like those shoes. I like all these little shots. Remember I had it all storyboarded? <laughs> because Samo was always shooing the feet as much as... Because people, when they shoot action scenes, are usually up here on a tripod. And Samo was always showing the feet, so I always tried to show the feet as much as we could. Um, actually, those shoes I had to throw in the garbage in Montreal <laughs> and buy new shoes at an underground shopping center. Because they were, it was oh, March. No, and no. It, <laughs> that's, that's Josh's grandpa's leg. Yeah, his, Josh's grandpa was an amputee. I forgot he, Jesus he passed was away quadruple jointed. Do you, Josh took his do leg. you remember that? What? Oh, wait. That is, yeah. That's how, that's how you became famous. Wait, what? With, weren't you in the scene with the first time we used Josh's grandpa's prosthetic yep. leg? Harry Knuckles. Oh, the first Harry oh. Away. On the fire escape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. So that's ever yeah. since then, we've used this leg all the time. I yeah. remember doing a very... I forgot uh, Quite that, an excellent that kick Paul from made <laughs> two outfits. That's Dave Cherry on the motorcycle, not Maria. So Maria couldn't ride the motorcycle. Dave Cherry has no butt. So <laughs> it looks like so a then Paul, outfit Paul him, made no? an outfit for him too. We should have yeah. put the Gloria That's Oddbottom fantastic. butt in there. Something. <laughs> I just keep looking at his ass in these scenes and how just like unattractive it is. <laughs> and he's wearing the Jesus wig there. That's that's her for the close-ups, and for the wide shots, he, Dave Chase is wearing the Jesus Christ vampire Yikes. wig. Yikes! Ah. Boom. Oh, that was hard. So I guess that was a cool shot. <laughs> when I went to get my beer, you already showed the shot of going through town on motorcycles. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who are these people coming that's out of Na the that's, trunks? What that's is this? Eleanor again. That's Eleanor. Is Cruzanel, that Eleanor or Nancy? Who was operating uh, on the table? Na and Nancy really? Yeah. Yeah. Nancy really was so quite kind because she always. That's let, Nancy. There. Yeah. She always let Phil punch her in the boobs. Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't. Well, she, <laughs> she, has, she has some from. fine Why are coming out of the trunks? That's a good question. Why are there Mexican wrestlers in the trunk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't... I, was it wasn't in the script. <laughs> I just thought they needed more people to fight at the end. They killed off uh, Muriel's uh, Claudia character. Yurt. So, that's Claudia Yeah. Yurt. She's in Venice right now. And that's Peter. <laughs> with a slam dance hat. Slam, because we want to Misty slam dance. Misty Winters. And look at the, the, the station, WGON-TV, that's the, uh, watch here, the WGON-TV, that's the TV station for Dawn of the Dead. Oh, hmm. yeah. But I don't know where Misty Winters comes from, forget that. The Jesus is everywhere, you see, John That's Garrett. right, Jesus, so Jesus is everywhere. Jesus fighting in the... In the in the junkyard and in the basement. I don't think John Carroll's nope. paying attention. <laughs> Live. He's everywhere. I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's dubbed so well. <laughs> people love this. In the festivals we went to, people loved that. I don't know why, mm. but they thought it was the funniest thing. And on the seventh day, he rested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mexican wrestlers coming out of trunks. Why is that? Uh, it. It's just, I don't know, I, it's, it's, it really doesn't have a reason. It's just, why just not? You know? They're lesbian vampires, not? they're not Mexican wrestlers, they're re lesbian vampires with wrestling masks on. Do you see, do you, see you can sometimes see hmm. talcum powder on the clothes, because when they get punched, it's supposed to look like an explosion, and it was all over the wall there behind Phil in that last shot. Well, the reason why the mask is because you probably all, you didn't want their faces seen because they were already killed in other scenes. Thank you, Shelley. The real reason is, yes, they're already in the movie <laughs> Jeez, in other true. scenes. Thank you. <laughs> that's Forgot. the real reason. Shelley did say she remembers more 20 some years ago than she yeah, was yesterday. It's true. Obviously, we don't. <laughs> Crucifixion <laughs> by windshield wiper. No, not crucifixion. What is it? Cross. These are the worst intestines ever made. For I thought they were pretty good. I was pretty impressed well, by they're, those. They're, they're pantyhose? I was going to say, they're obviously pantyhose. Oh, yeah. darn. I thought they were pretty cool. <laughs> Turn this movie off. Oh, you see the tire on the car there? It's yeah. there because the sun was reflected right into the lens. It's funny set dressing like that. They were landing on pillow. We brought a... 
He brought mats for them to land on, so they didn't land on rocks. You can see them bounce a little bit. <laughs> Feels easy to pick up upside down like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> it's, it's like, it was fun because Josh had all these ideas for the fight, and it was yeah. the hard, the most stressful thing about filming this was keeping up with Josh's ideas. <laughs> so I, I want to put the liver on my fist. So the, yeah, well, actually, that was hands. a real liver too. And that's no, those, those are pigs. That's, that's yeah. actually. Yeah. We went to a butcher oh, shop yeah. because Hershey Gordon Lewis yeah. got a lot of his gore from butcher shops, and so here's a little bit of Hershey Gordon Lewis in a. In our Odessa Filmworks movie, <laughs> and that was real. Those are actually liver. kidneys. They're, you're being Pigs punched. Kidneys, oh. yeah, it's gross. Josh is having a great time with that. <laughs> Who yeah. was it? Was it? Yeah, it was Kaufman. I eh? at Barrymore's that when you introduced him to me, he looked right down at my hips. Lloyd Kaufman? Yeah, he didn't look at my face. He said, "Oh, this is Shelley. She played the woman in water," and he looked right down at my hips. Wow. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Kaufman. He's he's not in this movie, but he inspired a lot of it. Like mm -hmm. the atheist fight sequence is right out of Parker's Avenger too. Mm -hmm. I like that Eleanor has these lines in her face, the veins. Yeah. That Josh gave her that. That was really good. Yeah. Goo goo mop, goo goo mop. Because yeah, because like, so it's Kaufman, patient. right? That was with Trauma. He is, uh, Trauma is him, right? Yes, yeah, he's he's a director of the Toxic Avenger, right? And he's in Rocky, the original Rocky film, right. and he's in the original Saturday Night Fever. This is this is like my favorite scene to cut because I could go, I could show punches from one scene, and cut here, bam, to the other scene. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is everywhere. That's you see, some John great, Carroll? That's some good editing, Mr. Thank DeMarb. You. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I had to point it out, though. It's, but, uh, yeah, no, I, it was fun to cut. It was a really fun scene. Mm -hmm. and it, it, because everyone was so gracious and worked along. We worked, we shot this movie for almost two years. And it shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's got a lot Especially. in it. Oh, you can, we screwed that on your chest. Uh, yeah, a plate underneath your shirt. And then Phil and I stayed up really late one night drinking <laughs> to get this shot. Yeah. The stop motion. That's from so the same the rooftop. Pian. No, that's from the P and point. P point. And oh, then, yeah, yeah. And right. when it comes up, it's, at, it's on the rooftop. Yeah. Now, this is Dan Sokolowski's idea. Dan Sokolowski said it, we can just put a mirror underneath <laughs> Phil's shirt. The It'll look like the light's coming oh, out. I'm like, wow. bullshit, Dan Sokolowski. Band, Dan, that's never going to work. I'm going to get the set with all the actors. Get out of here. Everyone's <laughs> time. Go back to Dawson City, Yukon, Dan Sokolowski. <laughs> and it works. It's the best special effect in the movie. He had only oh, one it's funny. It's a mirror. That's all it is. Man. Yeah, it's a Fantastic. mirror. It's a mirror. It's like really small yeah. mirror. <laughs> and it's the best investment. Oh, yes, that's right. He falls, he falls in love with her. He falls in love with the end. No. Now that, we, we stayed up really late. And we're on the roof top. Yeah, that, that took all night. It was fun, though, because we got the bond. <laughs> and then we mm -hmm. went back. We drove out to this location often. So many times. And that was shot. Remember, I rented the fog machine. And we shot that in the parking lot from the rental place. And I, I, went, I just brought it back in. We don't need it. We, I rented a fog <laughs> oh, machine, that. shot that in the parking lot. I read right where <laughs> I parked my car. So the, I, the way he's looking down at that, I really believe myself that I was there and saw that happen <laughs> at this place. <laughs> See how much it's called movie magic. So. It is yeah, magic. It just really screws with your memories, too. Now, look at the guy watching this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone notices him. Car. I think when I'm shooting it, I think no one's going to notice him. He's going back to sleep. And plus, the camera was, the, the lens was so tiny, and the aperture was closed so much, I probably didn't even see him walking back there. I can't believe the movie's in focus at all. It was so dark. At F22, through. everything's in focus. F22, that's right. We shot the whole movie at F22. Are you, ready to live up to you? you forgot to wear your earrings. That's true. You used to get so mad at things like that. <laughs> or you forgot you're wearing your glasses. And she got a haircut, I think, and had to wear that thing in her hair. Hair again. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was so nice. She was really involved with this movie. I really liked her. Yeah, she was cool. She's a nice person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I wonder where she is today. I wonder, I wonder how much she thinks yeah. about the movie because she had a lot to do with the whole process. Yeah. 
Look, you can see me and Peter. You, Peter, you're oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Oh that, those are my legs. Wow! The oh my God. <laughs> We're watching this movie in the Mayfair on a big screen. I don't know if you can notice that on home or on YouTube, wherever you're watching this. I think you can also see us in the reflection of her boobs. You can see the reflection. You can see the reflector right there. Really? <laughs> yeah. Or is that the sun? It's no, it's the Peter holding the oh, yeah. light like reflector. And my legs That's are there in the between. There. But it's the sun in the helmet. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, Maria didn't feel comfortable kissing. Oh, um, that's right. Uh, Muriel. So uh, we shot all this stuff. And I said, just go in for the kiss. Don't really kiss her. And then we drove to Gwen's house. <laughs> and Muriel quiz kissed Gwen Douglas from Smash Cut. And he was in this film as one of the dancers. And I did the close up here of them kissing. So that's Gwen in her backyard, <laughs> not too far from John where he used to live. <laughs> and everyone's favorite line. But Maggie, aren't you a lesbian? No, I'm fine. That's my wife. <laughs> that's Cheryl's voice. She oh, that's Cheryl's voice. She moved. Erica moved by the time we did the, you know, a year or two later. So that's Cheryl doing her voice. So Cheryl says that line. And that's me, I think, going, woohoo. He's, his beard. I remember. And then that, Zoolander stole your line. I stole I, the line I'm oh, by at the end. That's right. I, I just them. remembered his last name. Ivan Freud? Yeah, it's Freud. So I think Josh originally wanted him to play another Jesus. He was trying to convince me, oh, he looks like Jesus. Yeah. And he should have like evil Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and like every, every time Josh had an idea, I did like completely change every act of the script. But here he just we just thought why not have a narrator, which makes sense. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I shot a scene for our new movie here. This is a location for our new film. Twenty years later. One of those dogs ran up the hill there and pissed on my knapsack <laughs> and ran all the way back up. <laughs> it was Aaron dog. It's like you no, called everybody. Slipper Anyone who wants to be in a movie, dog. come today. Yeah, we we uh, like I put flyers right in the up. middle of that. It's like was trained to do that. I put flyers up at the Dominion and Zaphods all around town. We're shooting a scene at this location at a certain time, a certain date. Just show up if you want to be in a movie. And we always got good crowds. <laughs> and people would just look, like the, dress whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the Sean wore the, there's Raina. Raina <laughs> Dutch and Fire was in a new movie. And uh, Glory Oddbottom wearing the Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter wig. <laughs> oh, that's true, right? I'm Sanjay and Peter Peening. Peter, Peter, you're from uh, IFCO. A cell phone. It's a plastic cell phone because back then no one had cell phones. No one could afford cell phones back then. So I bought a, sh a shitty wow. plastic cell phone from the dollar store. Well, and that's why, that's why Michelle wasn't the in the movie because she got her job with TELUS that sent her to Toronto. Ah, hmm. right. Cell phones ruined everything. I'm just telling you what you already know. I'm the part of you that feels bad when I love those sunglasses, Phil. Thanks. <laughs> yes. They're very oh, expensive. Is that my dad? Mm -hmm. My dad's in the scene. That's his shoulder? And his face is five. Five keeps the neighbor alive. <laughs> See, we can't high five each other right now. When we say the movie's over now, Everybody we can't high five each other. Oh, oh there's my mom. Yeah, there's my dad and my mom. Huh, I didn't know my dad was Here's Peter Peening. This song's fantastic. I love this, this song. It is the theme song. Kind of. This song is the best part of the movie. <laughs> it gets so good. Oh, there's Cheryl. There's, there's Mark Polisell, my co-op student, my wife, with Raina. I wonder where all these people are. I wonder if they still watch and think highly of the film. Aaron Slipikoff owns the Dalmatians. Oh, one of the, it was that little one with the curly See tail. That, that's Aaron's dog. Was yeah, deaf, that, right? that's why it's on a leash right now. Hmm. Aaron's involved their new movie. The Dalmatian? Oh, that's Muriel's dog, wasn't it? No, yeah. Muriel. I'm talking the Mir one that pissed on my knapsack. Muriel on the Dalmatian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Milo, one who pissed Milo on his knapsack was up at Sandbanks too. That's right. It. That's right. He was just a pup. Wow, Shelley's like an encyclopedia. They weren't really kissing there. And this is a very controversial ending where <laughs> Jesus gropes Sodbottom, but who wouldn't? It's 
That bum. It's, it says grab me. So erotic. It's <laughs> 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 so erotic. And the oh, smirk. Jesus. It's the smirk. <laughs> <laughs> and the phallic airplane. Oh. Her, 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 Russ Meyer taught me That's that shot. That's why it's called a katana. Is that Adam flying the plane or some other guy? That's the guy who owned the plane. That's the guy <laughs> from the airline. That's the Ottawa International Airport. And that's Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter, which was released no. 20 years ago no. today. Oh, yay! Thanks, everyone, for joining us here at the Mayfair Theatre for this visual yay. audio commentary. Yay. Thanks to John Carroll and Randy Smith for lending <laughs> us the camera. Thank oh, you, that, Lee, oh, really? for That's making this movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all made the movie. <laughs> this is our film. It is our yeah, film. It's our film. That's why end credits are so important, because everyone <laughs> who's in the credits should feel a big part of the movie. You can see the camera It's very inclusive. <laughs> it's all right. These are a fun end credits sequence with the outtakes. What are you there? That is what you see if I'm part of Oh, outtakes. yeah, I was <laughs> part of number one in oh, that Oh, those, those guys. guys. <laughs> Hmm. Milo is the deaf lesbian dog. Oh, yeah, Milo is deaf. That's a good credit. <laughs> Where's the oh God. bottom today? Do you have it? <laughs> no, I think it's like your place where it used to be. I'm pretty sure everyone involved in the film is credited. You never get extras credited in the end of a movie, but Jesus is that kind of My movie. My grandfather's credited mm. in that movie. I just saw it. Whose grandfather? Mine. Oh. Oh, you knock off Anita's glasses there. That's a good art take. Heather Earl, that's her name. Heather Earl, she's one of the. Mm. That's Heather. That's Heather there. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I was, I was going to say this is all inspired by Jackie Chan putting outtakes in movies, but it's really Burt Reynolds. Jackie Chan took it from Burt Reynolds movies. Mm. Burt Reynolds was the first to put outtakes in the end of a movie. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have a good outtake, you just have a funny moment. The Dominion cuts, everyone has stayed up late. Nancy really at the bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of wonder if people use that bathroom and think to themselves, this is the toilet from Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Uh, associate producers, that's right. Someone just wanted their initials. Peter Mann. That's the guy I was looking at. Oh, there's Mark Polisell, our co-op student, who wrote. Mark Polisell, who oh, caught look, you I'm, there, Jesus, I wrote our new movie. I was a production assistant. Who? Oh, yeah. Me. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. See, I forgot. So that's why the <laughs> credits exist. So, so I, I don't have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Allison Cardi. Allison Cardi, that's right. God love you. So long ago. Look there, you can see the pickup truck and how that shot works. The Goo Goo Muck Creature Shot. That's what Josh <laughs> yeah. wanted to call it. All phenomenal. <laughs> Karen Freeze. Yeah, gee, so Mark Polisell, who was a co-op student on this movie, he was in high school, wrote our new film. That's crazy. Full circle, as they say. Barbara Swift, who did the next Fluff girl, Tracy away. Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy was a very good fluffer. Stunt lips, Gwen Douglas. Stunt lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Dave Cherry. Dave Cherry's in my new movie, mm -hmm. our new movie, not my new movie, our new movie. Hope to see you soon, Maria. I hope you still, this movie's still a big part of your life. <laughs> Again, the, the scene that only makes sense in Canada. Maybe people know what shawarmas are in the United States now. Oh yeah, oh. Phil did spit in, he did spit in the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big damn veggie cake. What was the big damn veggie cake? Oh yeah, Muriel made a big damn veggie cake. Uh, Alex, I think, wasn't good at anything he did. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to get his hair wet. He couldn't throw a motorcycle helmet. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, that was a fun. That was one of the first scenes we shot in the movie. A Voyager restaurant. That's that that's the what one. you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Ah, the that's the uh, Hooters, yeah. the, hmm. the Straight Shooters Club. IFCO, the Independent Filmmakers Co-op. Ottawa Carlton doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Granting agency. 
<laughs> what was that blow up called? We had a different name for each blow up doll. There was Maggie, Michelle, and Anita. And each blow up doll was named after the stars of the heroic trio Anita Mui, Maggie Chung, and uh, uh, Michelle Yao. Yeah, this is the first night of shooting. Don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> because a bobby pin got stuck in her hair. And that, proudly cut on film, that comes from Mike Lee's um, Secrets and Lies. That's at the end of Secrets and Lies. <laughs> well, <there's a> <laughs> Jeez, <yeah. laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> oh, yay. So I'll see you again in another 20 years? Yeah, <laughs> definitely.